Hi, so today I want to show you how you can access your MySQL server that's like locally installed in your Windows computer, but uh, without a static IP, how can you let others access it? So I have like my SQL workbench now and the server I have already started, so it's running. The first thing I will do is check if I'm able to connect to the local server. So I'll go and like create a new database or like a new connection. So I'll call this connection as localhost and this is local. So this is good for me. And then I'll have to enter the root password because like I'm, I'm logging it as root. So if you have any other user, you can log in from that user. So that's the password I have. So I'll copy paste it and then I click OK and then I click on test connection. It says, yeah, a successful MySQL connection was made. I'll click OK, which means that I can actually uh, use that connection and work on the database now. If I want to execute this query and see what are the databases available, I can just like execute that and I see these many uh, databases are available. And if I want to work with that, it's like pretty straightforward. How would we do that? But we have this connection made from the local host. The next thing what we want to do is like see how I can use ngrock and allow others to access this database server on the internet. So the first thing I will do is like uh, configure my ngrock. So I have downloaded the ngrock from the website. So here it is, it says like ngrock.exe. So once I double click on it, I get this terminal command prompt where I see the help uh, information. And the first thing I would like to do is like configure the authorization token. So I go to the ngrock website. So there I go to like we need an account for that. So I'll log in since I already have an account. Okay, once I do that, I can go to authentication your auth token. So this is like my auth token. So I can copy this, go to the terminal and I can do ngrock auth token and then I can give this token. Once I do that, this authorization token has been stored in this directory. Now, I know that my server is running on the port 3306. So in order for me to open up that port to internet, all I have to do is like just do ngrock tcg 3306 and enter. Now this will try to establish a connection. And so any request that goes to this domain and this port number will be redirected to my computer's port 3306. So how do I configure this? I'll just go to Workbench again, and then I'll go home and then I'll add a new connection. Now I'll call this localhost using ngrock. And the host name is not this for me now. Instead, it has to be this one, 2.tcp this. So I copy that, I paste it here, and then this port number, I replace it with this 16423. Okay. And the password has to be like whatever the user's password is. So I copy paste the same thing, and then when I try to test connection, because this has to happen through tunnel, it might take a little delay. Okay, so it says like successful connection. Okay, and then click okay. Now I have this connection as well. So let me log into that uh, database server through ngrock. Okay. 
so i have like two sessions now one is logged in through localhost one is localhost through ng -Rock. so let me do create table or create database test i'll execute this now okay this has got executed if i go back to localhost and if i execute the same thing there is no database called test here so if i just execute this i should have the test as well so uh, we can do whatever we would like to do uh, going forward through this by making use of ngrock so as long as this is open uh, any person in the internet who has access to this information which is like the domain name and the port number and your database's user name and password they will be able to connect to this if you close this like i just press ctrl c and then this will close it and now if i try to execute something this will not execute because it's like the connection has got terminated so here you see it it's not going to get accessed anymore so this way it also becomes secure for you so you open up your uh, port whenever you would like to and then you close it after the work is done thank you